administrative companies, including visits from myself as recently as yesterday, and we want to understand their <coughs> concerns and help secure a competitive and viable future for industries who support so many high-skilled, high-wage jobs across the UK. Thank you, Mr Speaker. High Peak is home to the UK's largest quarries and much of our lime production industry. Those lime producers are essential for construction, engineering and infrastructure, but they're currently being hit by a double whammy of soaring global energy prices and an outdated UK emission trading system, which is still benchmarked at the old EU level, geared towards European plants operating to a significantly lower standard and also in receipt of generous state subsidy. The UK's lime producers are committed to doing their bit to tackle climate change, but the current benchmark is unachievable given their production chemistry. So can I urge the Minister to urgently review the UK's emission trading system benchmark for lime producers? Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. As a fellow Derbyshire MP, I know how much of a, a, a loud voice and an independent voice and a big voice that my honourable friend gives to the High Peak since his election in 2019. I'm very proud to work with him. On this specific subject, uh, we know that there are challenges long term for, for industries and for individual sectors. We are grateful for his comments. I'm happy to meet with him to talk more about this if it's helpful. Gordon Henderson. Question 16, Mr Speaker. I thank my honourable friend for his question. My honourable friend is absolutely right to highlight the importance of driving down the costs of transition to tread more lightly on the earth over the long term. Significant progress has already been made in the cost of technologies such as solar panels, and the recently published Net Zero strategy commits to working with business to realise further economic opportunities here. Gordon Henderson. Well, whilst I uh, 